Hello! Ah, fake action figures. Some of my very favourite things is they're always amusingly appalling. And these are particularly appalling. And they're superheroes, which is always a damn good start for some absolute tat. Right, I've removed them from the box so we can show them one at a time for added humorousnessness. It's superheroes with Superman's logo. All heroes come. Good for them. Collect them all. We've got a couple of Batman. We've got the thing from Fantastic Four. He's a new arrival. We've got the invisible woman and spider-man and fiery bloke and superman save the world and as you've probably guessed half of these characters aren't actually represented by the figures but not to worry about that let's look at more complete lies on the back fantastic four doctor doom the thing invisible woman the human torch mr fantastic superman spider-man 2 where he's got misshapen helicopters and dragon motorcycle unicorns and the thing the green goblin had and Good God, I hadn't noticed this. Spider-Man with a fighter plane is literally a Spider-Man figure <laughs> reclining on a tiny jet fighter. That's one of the most ridiculous things I have ever seen. Oh, I wish I had one of those. But spoiler, there isn't anything like it. And here's some official Batman Begins figures, which again, aren't anything to do with the superheroes we've got today. Look, they've even worked the Fantastic Four logo into it. And I'm afraid to say, there are no Fantastic Four figures. Ah, oh, but who have we got instead? Well, we start off with Mr. Incredible, of course. He sounds a bit like Mr. Fantastic. Here he is with his weird deformed blue eyes and his mutant arms and his plastic that's so cheap I think it's actually working its way into my bloodstream just by me touching it. Well, it's, um, looks vaguely like him. It's got the proper Incredibles logo. You wouldn't want to give it to a child because if they put it in his mouth it would instantly shatter into a million fragments and destroy everything in their head. But other than that, it's probably perfectly safe. There we are, you go and sit over there. And we'll come along with, as ever, Spider-Man. There's always a Spider-Man. It's got a particularly worrying Spider-Man. is sort of, this spider on him seems to be some sort of growth, which is a slight uh, complication for him, and something he should probably get checked out. Zero articulation, other than the arms, and the back of it is about as cheap as anything gets. And there's some sort of weird nodule for connecting to something that they haven't given us. But hey, he's got stumpy fingers, so everything's fine. Face isn't too bad for once. Don't worry, we'll make up for that with tiny golden Batman in some sort of <laughs> mobility mobile scooter. Th I haven't got a bloody clue. Well, he's written Batman on it, and it's black, and it's got Batman logos and a license plate, so he's legal to drive in Gotham. But yes, for some reason he's a totally different scale, a totally different colour, and uh, yeah... That's basically one of those things old people use to get to the shops. Can you see his face there? He's actually quite well detailed for one of these things, but sadly his face is ludicrous. Hang on. I think I can... Oh, more bits are falling off. He got seriously broken in the packet. There's all these sort of weird little silver handles and things which were totally broken off. Never mind. Such is life. Can we see his face? Yeah. He's looking a bit down in the mouth, to say the least. In fact, his mouth is almost touching his shoes. Also, there's a worrying thing between his legs. <laughs> Presumably that's something used to connect him to the um, scooter and not some kind of weird prosthetic he's got going on down there to please Vicky Vale. Ooh. Looks like that guy from Last of the Summer Wine who was always miserable. Blakey from On the Buses, that's him. Ooh, why you butler? There we are, that's a reference that'll go down really well with my core demographic of 14-year-old Americans. Right, what's next? Another Spider-Man, we've only had one. It's flying naked from the back Spider-Man with weird eyes. Yes, this was presumably something that would fire out of a toy at some stage. Pity they didn't give us that toy. Here's a Batman sticker. I don't know, it was just floating around in the box. Um, also, we've got two of these. And, of course, Superman! Hooray! The Man of... Man of Steel. This is more like the man of some old knackered tin we found in your grandparents' attic. Um, we've got all the... Uh, <laughs> just spot... I didn't spot these horrendous holes in the back of his head. Anyway, this one's ticking all the boxes. We've got the horrible holes in the back. We've got no paint on the back. We've got... Uh, Marks for what I can only presume was supposed to have some sort of battery in and light up an LED on his chest, but the whole mechanism's missing. We've got the weird bit of plastic instead of the cape. We've got arms and hands that are only painted on one side. We've got virtually no articulation. And we've got that face. 
Presumably this is from the time when Nicolas Cage was supposed to be the next Superman. Up, up, and absolutely fucking useless. Anyway, that's the world saved. Time for something a little more, a little more down to home. How about good old Shaun the Sheep? If you don't know what Shaun the Sheep is, it's like a animated claymation-y sheep thing from Ardman Productions, I believe, and it's like a spin-off from Wallace and Gromit. And hey, look! Here's some Polish versions of the figures which are completely and utterly unauthorised. You see, they look fairly um, realistic, don't they? You know, Shaun the Sheep, Shaun the Sheep. Easy to play. Okay, that's an odd thing to put. Specifications, colours and contents may vary from illustrations. Okay, now this is beginning to ring the alarm bells of not being an official Shaun the Sheep product. Yeah, there, they've ripped off all the artwork. Look, it all looks good. Then you actually look at the toys themselves. The first problem is the pig appears to have had all its teeth kicked out, quite viciously. I mean, there's still quite a lot of fresh blood in there. You need to get yourself to the hospital, mate. The other hint is that Shaun the Sheep is sort of a comedy thing set in a farm and doesn't generally involve giant space pods with Shaun the Sheep written on them. Absolutely no idea. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but the actual shape of the package is completely different to the toy within. So we can only presume there's something going on there, and this was originally for some sort of space toy, and they've just stuck poor old Piggy with his teeth kicked out in there instead. Here he is. Oh man, you shouldn't have gotten the wrong side of those drug dealers. Oh, that's really horrible. It's, it's like they've deliberately gone out of their way to make it look like he's had his teeth kicked out. Absolutely awful. The package is really dirty as well. Nice. So what does this do? Oh god, answer very little because it's got it wants batteries I don't have, so unless it magically works. Nope, it is dead, -dead, -dead unfortunately. Oh, that's disappointing. Um I wonder if I can find up some batteries there. What are you supposed to do with this? Is it like Buzz Lightyear's laser? You walk around like that. Oh! It's motion activated. I don't think this is the theme tune to Shaun the Sheep. <laughs> what, when will it stop? Is this playing the Lonely Goat Herd? That is weird. So they must have replaced the music from when it was a space toy, presumably. <laughs> Blimey, that's thrown me off. Oh well, there's only one thing that's going to level us out now. Putting poor Piggy over there. There we are, you can go to the hospital later, mate. How about a whole set of figures? <clears throat> Sean Sheep the. I wonder if that's the official phrasing. The Nova of the Ocean of the Cleverness. That is, of course, the official subtitle of Sean the Sheep as given by Ardman Productions. Sean the Sheep, the Nova of the Ocean of the Cleverness. It fits it so well. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got some more of these somewhat dubious figures, shall we say. Although none of them do seem to have had their teeth kicked out. What have we got? Oh, we've got a strap. That's a good start. Um, We've got a device that presumably flicks these um, discs out. At least they put the right. St um, oh my goodness! I wish that's one of the figures. Um, at least they put the right images on them, and not just left them with pictures of bloody spaceships, which is clearly what this is originally from. Uh, yeah. No. Nope. Oh, good Christ! And I think I've broken it already. Brilliant. That's really high quality and in no way dangerous. So, figures. We've got Toothy Dog in a sort of slightly lurid orange colour and, of course, badly painted and made out of the worst plastic ever devised by man. We've got Sean the Sheep himself. Here he is, with his slightly scary dead eyes, dancing in a strange position that means you will never be able to actually stand him up on any surface. That was the sound of him falling over. And finally, a man who seems to have been boiled. It's like a boiled version of Beaker from the Muppets, actually. It's supposed to, supposed to be this character. Yeah, not done that such a good job on the old painting there, have you, lads? Um, yes, I imagine the official merchandise is probably a bit prettier than this. At least I would hope so, because if not, we're talking quite bad nightmares for the kids. I do have one other toy which really is tremendous. This was packaged up as a Shaun the Sheep toy, despite clearly being some sort of... Um, well, I don't know what the G stands for there, but um, some sort of space toy again. Open it up, and here we are. It's a magic communicator phone, where none of the buttons work. And they have put a Shaun the Sheep sticker on it, and that's it. The real joy comes from this when you press the button to activate it. I'm going to put my thumb over the speaker, as it's unbelievably loud and would kill people with headphones. Anyway, here we go for some genuine Shaun the Sheep audio. Power and 
Imagine if a Polish child actually bought these in the shops without having seen Sean the Sheep. He must wonder what the fuck it's about. It's about some weird boiled men, a pig that has its teeth kicked out on a regular basis, and then they... well, I can't even begin to describe what that is about. Recycled loud noises is probably the best way of describing it. Oh well, that's a lot of those, except for this other bloody great one I've got here. Welcome to... Super Robot... D oh my goodness, you can't even fit it in camera, hang on. Ugh. Can you read sideways? Zoom out? No, can't go any further. Well, anyway. Super Robot Deformation! And yep, it does look pretty bloody deformed. It's supposed to be some sort of movie version of Optimus Prime, except we've got a whole extremely cheap Chinese thing going on. New Arrival! Yeah. Collect them all robots. That's catchier than Transformers. I'm going to go with Super Deformation to uh, refer to it, I think. Ages six and up, and on the back, we've got this weird thing they've started doing where they um, give you pretend statistics to do with whatever it is. My personal favourite is Fire Blast, which doesn't seem to make any sense at all. So, quickly, let's see if we can transform Optimus from extremely fragile looking robot mode... A grill. ...to slightly less fragile truck mode. Go on! Um, wow, hang on, just uh, bathing in the glory of Optimus Prime here, and that wonderful bright red head of his. Mm -hmm. The well, hands are quite nicely detailed, he said, clutching at straws. Well, there's no instructions, so how the hell does this work? Um, very badly, one imagines. Uh, there's, uh, there's something going on here. Hang on. Uh, uh, uh. Right, those click together. Or at least they sort of click together and feel like they're going to break. Um, have to, um, right, well, if that goes there... Ah, look, hang on, this is even simpler than I had anticipated, actually. If we can get that down onto here somehow... Um, where do these bits go, actually? Oh, where's a picture that shows me? Um, right, those go up at the side, apparently. So, where do the arms... Ugh. Tell you what, let's jump cut to the end. Ugh, right, that's as good as it's getting. It didn't help that the picture on there appears to be of a totally different, far better toy that has flames in different places. Anyway, this is the closest I can get to what it's supposed to look like, and it managed to squeeze and hurt my fingers several times, so is in no way suitable for any child, or in fact anybody who likes anything. Tell you what, there is a third transformation we can make. We can transform it into a pile of rubbish. The problem is, it doesn't transform back. 